both are extremely dependent beings with no freedom. The child has no freedom and the old man has no freedom. Then who is the young man? Who is the young man?
Is that why he was a legend? Because he was crawling on his knees? But when you call somebody a legend, you want to crawl on your knees in front of that person. You say, oh, they are great things, unattainable, they are like Mount Everest. Who am I in front of them? If you say this, then you don't even respect the legend. To respect the legend is to become a legend. That is real respect. Hmm? That is real respect. So who is the real man? I have the capacity to know. I am full of trust. I have that deep faith that I am placing in myself. At the same time, I have not become fossilized. I have not become arrogant. I have not become full of myself. I am open, very, very open. I am inviting the world from everywhere to come to me. I want to taste it. I want to know, real knowing, not second hand knowing, not something that I have read from the books. That is a young man. Brilliant. And yes, you can be 80 years of age, physical age, and still very young in mind. The body's age cannot be controlled. But you can remain very, very fresh and young of mind right till your last breath. That is the charm and the beauty of youth. And that is why youth is so rare. Because forget about the remaining 20 when you are 80. We are 80 when we are 20. Now do you understand what I meant when I said that we never attain to youth. We are born a kid and then we stay away from old. Young age never really descends upon us. We still have a world. Our body may look young, but that does not matter. The mind becomes old very quickly. Bodily, you may be 20 or 25 or 30, but mentally you are already 85. And that's a tragedy. We don't want that tragedy to happen, right? We don't want that tragedy to We want to remain young and very, very young, as we said in our last breath. Hmm? Now we will come to the second part, youth and architecture. I am not an architect. Yes, I am an engineer. I am a master in business administration, but I am not really an architect. But what I understand is that what you people are doing is tremendously important and very, very beautiful. Just a few days back, at some point in the night, I was in this building and looking at all the pieces of art that he has created. It was wonderful. I can't claim that I understood everything, but I could sense a particular aesthetic beauty there. So for me, architecture is creativity. Does that put us on the same platform? Instead of saying youth and architecture, I will say youth and creativity. Is that alright? <coughs> or is the field of architecture anything other than creativity? It is much more. It is much more, much more than creativity, for example. For example, if you don't have a uh, for example, uh, reference, in architecture we talk about references. Without references, none of our client is going to give us a project. Uh, uh, he's not going to be a project person, but if don't, we don't have any reference, like uh, I know how to use, if I don't know how to use concrete, I don't know how to use wood, how, will I, how am I going to use it in my building? So it's just not creativity, it's the experience of using the material from our past or creating a new material with reference to our past and using the same thing in our building. So it's much you see, the there is nothing here which says that knowledge is useless. It is just that knowledge must 
be in its proper place and not encroach upon something else. Is that that right? That the proper place of knowledge must be known. Obviously, an engineer needs to know the interest of chemicals. Obviously, an engineer needs to know the prevalent techniques, the latest technology. But there are lakhs and lakhs of engineers who are knowing just the same things. That does not make them any special. So knowledge is necessary but never sufficient. And knowledge comes cheap. You know what? Today, medical science has reached a stage where just as you transfer data from one computer to the other, knowledge too can be immediately implanted in your mind. So cheap is knowledge. Two electrodes can fit here and within a matter of two hours, knowledge of a thousand of hours will be available in your brain. Knowledge can be downloaded to your brain. So use of concrete, use of cement, knowing what this person and that person did, increasingly you will find that the function of education that deals only with accumulation of knowledge is becoming redundant. You do not need that anymore. Medical science will take care of that. So sir, what do you suggest? I am not suggesting anything because whatever I will suggest will become another dependency for you. But that's what our minds want. Quick suggestions from somebody. I refuse to suggest anything. I just want to talk. So that together hmm, we may come to something. What do we just say? I am capable. And I place all my faith in myself. My suggestions have very little value. Very, very little value. But this environment has great value. In this environment, you can think for yourself and not depend on my suggestions. By talking, we are creating a particular environment. Hmm? So, what is creativity then? What is creativity? We have looked at what is it to be young. Now I want to ask you what is creativity? What is creativity? Yes? So when you say different, hmm? I am thinking of different. New is something we will take about it later. When you say creativity is about being different, you are already comparing. Can you say that I am different from somebody without comparing yourself to that person? Even to say that I am different, you have to make a comparison. And then this creativity is arising out of that comparison. What is creativity? Yes. Unique. Again comparison. How do you know you are unique? You look at others and you say, I am not like them, hence I am unique. So this is comparison. What is real creativity? Innovation. Hmm? innovation. What is innovation? What is innovation? What is innovation? What is innovation? Yes? Creativity. Yes. 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 Almost all of us, uh, and if you answer the question of me, to be said, doing something new yeah. or with new imagination of the But, uh, my question is, how do you decide when something 
this video for her. I need some text object which I can be created by somebody else this an ugly piece of work or maybe that's not for sort of purpose. Yes. And how can I do that I am created for that type of work is created? Because in my mind, this is something new, this is something creative, and what I imagine has been not to clarify me. You're making an assumption that the piece of work is created. I understand, it's a very deep assumption. But understand this piece. What if creativity has nothing to do with what we have created? What if creativity has nothing to do with that object which you are calling as a piece of work? It's possible. Now we'll go into it. We'll go into this. What you call as creation comes from two different places. The first is Creating from something and that something is always either the influence of others or the influence of your past. This strictly is not creation, this is just modification or reproduction. This is just modification or reproduction. This cannot even be called as creation. When you are creating from something, and that something happens to be, as we said, either others or your own past, then this creation is only mistakenly being called as creation. It is not really creation. <coughs> it is modification. There is another creation where the creation happens from nothing. Creating from something and creating from nothing at all. This is real creation, but this creation is equally real. It is real, rare, and the only thing that really makes the world go round. Creating not from your accumulated knowledge or the influence of others, but from a very still and silent mind. There is nothing. If somebody would ask you, how did this idea come to you? You would not be able to tell its source. If it is really, really creative. In fact, if it is really creative, you would not even be able to say that it is an idea. It would just be a happening. Just be a happening. That is real creativity. And because it is so daring that this creation does not happen from a background. Only a young man can do it. That is why youth and creativity always go together. An old man cannot be created. Youth and creativity always go together. Creativity is the most daring adventure. It's a complete break from the past. It is something so new that it cannot even be compared. That means that one fine day I get up in the morning and I I just have a big happy and I decided that this is what came to my mind last night and uh, this is what I am going to create now, this is what I am going to do now and that is what I am going to be created. No, not really. For two reasons. One, 
what came to you in the night must result in an happening in the night itself. If you reserve it as a thought, as a memory, then what will implement it later on? It is no more a creativity. Second thing, creativity does not suddenly happen. It is not an insight. It is not a flash. Creativity is your way of living. If you are living in an entirely uncreative way, one fine morning you cannot suddenly become creative. You cannot suddenly have so much thought when your entire life is uncreative. Then, sir, that is where our, you said, if we are dependent on either other people's uh, studying the works or whatever it is, or if we are dependent on our past. Now what you are saying is that if we are uncreative, we cannot be creative after we become our point of view. Yes. These two things, I mean, I am not able to connect to your contradiction. They are in a contradiction. Where do you see the contradiction? Sir, Abhi, you just said that it is basically my lifestyle. So, when I am taking creativity in my lifestyle, certainly I am going to have certain experiences in the past that incorporate, that has been incorporated in my lifestyle and I turn my lifestyle as being creative. Yes. So, uh, the, there would be a lot of experiences, a lot of happenings, but there would be no dependency. Understand this? Second thing to say, I will make creativity my lifestyle is not really a proper statement. You do not make creativity your lifestyle. It's not something that you borrow from somewhere, not a training that you take from somewhere. But as something. I can tell my lifestyle as a Yes. And, and you are saying that a creative person to have experiences. That's what you are saying? Yeah. You obviously have experiences. So what? But those experiences will have no role. I am having an experience right now as I talk to you. And in the afternoon I will talk to some other people. This <coughs> would be stored in some memory somewhere. This would not interfere with that discussion. I, in that discussion I would not be dependent on this discussion. In that, I would not be dependent on this. Thanks, Mr. I see you are going to ask him about the same thing. As you are listening to me right now, what would happen if you start thinking of your experiences in the morning? Would you really be able to listen? As simple as that, the experience was there in the morning, correct? Right? But is that experience really present right now? It is stored somewhere in the memory, let it be there. That experience is not influencing your life. And that is alright. That is the way it ought to be. Hmm? And if your experience is really not needed, the brain knows what to do with it. Steadily, it will be deleted as well. Not everything that you come across remains there. Who's on it? Sir, I have something to say. Sir, as you have said that uh, this is creativity uh, does not come all of a sudden. Yes. Uh, it is a living, it is a way of living life. Sir, I have uh, some uh, so, <coughs> confusion in this notion. So, actually, this is that uh, I think uh, imagination, uh, the life that, that we uh, imagine. For example, uh, I imagine a structure, I imagine a building which is uh, very different, and I actually saw in my dreams. For example, so, uh, so I actually think uh, that imagination comes in a flash. Um, 
for, for example, uh, what the building said, one more C. Well, we'll see that.